Instead, if we learn to just accept ourselves and say every single day when we're feeling negative, listen, maybe I'm not where I need to be right now. Maybe this isn't how I look. Maybe I'm not at the success rate. Maybe I don't have the job that I want to have or whatever it is. Maybe I'm not at this point in my life and other people I see around me are. You have to stop for a second and say, I'm not going to just fake it till I make it. I'm just going to accept where I am right now because when you accept where you are right now, then you can move forward and again, start putting the energy into you instead of like forcing it out and trying to like be this thing that you're not. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Keaton. In today's video, we obviously have another day in the life. Currently almost 10 o'clock and I woke up at like 6.45 this morning. I had to edit a video so I, I edited the video at 6 a.m. this morning and I uploaded it by 9 so I got it right in on time. I took a shower which is why my hair is wet and I self-tanned my body but I wanted to self-tan my face and I ran out of the Loving Tan foam that I always use and for some reason, I don't know why I didn't think of this, I guess just because I didn't think it was the same as the mousse, but I have this bronze shimmer luminous cream. It's instant color, satin finish for medium um, and dark, and so you just apply it. Um, I don't really know if it is a mousse that stays on. This is also loving tan, but it's just like a shimmer cream so it still makes you like dark but i don't really know if it stays on like i feel like it washes off um right away i'm not really sure but i saw in a video tana mojo use this but she put it on her face and i was like why did i never think of that so i wanted to show you guys because i'm about to put it on my face and it's like super dark because this is the only one i have they sent this in pr so we're gonna try this out i'm gonna see if this is um cute at all on my face i have this little vanity planet mirror right here and i'm about to take some of this oh my gosh <laughs> And I'm going to put it on the back of my hand just a tiny bit because like, look at that. It's really dark. I feel like it blends out good though. So we're going to see. I'm not even really trying to contour. Okay, I feel like I need to blend that in with my hand. The brush is like not working. It actually looks nice, but you got to blend it fast or it's going to like stick to dry spots. This isn't bad though. My face actually looks pretty shimmery in bronze. I think it looks a lot better. It's not too much, it's just right. It has a little bit of a bronzy glow to it. I'm not mad at it. I feel like this is good to use on my face and maybe I'll just use the mousse um, on my body. I did use this on my body though because I am out of the mousse and I just like don't really wanna order some more right now. So I'm going to continue to use this little instant color and we're going to see how it looks. I like it on my face though. I don't think it's bad at all. I think it looks good. Okay, so like I said, I woke up really early this morning and so I already had my coffee, but I haven't had breakfast yet. And I asked you guys on my other vlog if you guys would want to see me make a recipe from this book. It's a matcha book. It's all about different ways to make matcha. And um, I can link it down below if I'm able to find it. I bought it in like a random bookstore in Newport, but I'm sure it's online somewhere, so I will link it down below. But it just has a ton of different things. So it says like, what is matcha, matcha lifestyle, and then it goes into cooking with matcha. But look how many things are in here. Cooking with matcha, this is bread. I could make bread. We've got matcha granola. Look how yummy that looks. Matcha banana bread. Um, matcha Japanese milk bread. There's so many things in here. Energy bars. Ooh, these are the pancakes. Matcha and chia seed pancakes. I have chia seed. I have matcha. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. The first step says, the night before, combine chia seeds, matcha, and one cup of milk in a medium bowl, cover with plastic wrap, and refrigerate overnight. All right, well, I didn't do that, so I can't make the matcha pancakes, but maybe I'll do that tonight so I can make them tomorrow let's see if there's anything else in here all right well i guess i should have read the recipe because i have to put all that stuff in overnight but i will do it tonight so we're gonna have matcha pancakes tomorrow today we're gonna have my usual i'm gonna just have some yogurt and fruit but tomorrow is the day i'm gonna try and make something new happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, you. <laughs> oh, happy birthday Nana and Carson Woohoo! Happy birthday to you
Well, just got off a little Zoom call. It's my grandma and cousin's birthday today. They have the same birthday, so we just got on, told them happy birthday, and they were telling us about Trolls World Tour, which if you guys haven't watched Trolls, what are you doing? But I haven't seen the World Tour one, so Brandon just put it on. So we're gonna watch Trolls. I might play like Animal Crossing in the meantime or something. I don't know, but we're gonna watch Trolls, and that's gonna be how we start our morning. I just went and checked the mail, and I have a few packages packages that I'm gonna open up on camera for you guys. I'll do a mini unboxing. The first package is from Skims. I have been wanting to try out some products from them, just some tank tops and stuff. So they come in this little packaging and it says on it, I am not plastic, I am compostable, made from plants. I will biodegrade in your home compost and in your industrial compost facility. Okay, the first thing I got, I got these little black high-waisted biker short things. I will tell you guys the sizes I got in all these. I believe I got the size extra small um, in almost everything. So I got these shorts. I got a matching black little like cotton bra to go with the shorts and i think i bought like a tank top with it i don't remember oh okay this is the color i really wanted this is just this cute little ribbed tank top all of this stuff is ribbed this is also in a size extra small the bra is a size extra small as well yeah everything in this is extra small so i got the tank top and then i got these matching high-waisted little undies with them how cute together. The next thing I got is some stuff from Milk Makeup. You guys know I love Milk Makeup. Ooh, okay, we got this little bag here. This looks like a lot of different stuff. So we have got Kush Lip Glaze. So this says take the edge off with Kush. So I think that this is all their Kush related products. Um, this is, yeah, this is a gloss. We have a lip scrub. I've never used this. This will be good. This will be good for both of us. Ooh, look. So it's like this. Ooh, it smells minty. I'm gonna put it on. So it feels like it's kind of exfoliating the lips, but it's also moisturizing. Ooh, I really like this. Here, put this on. Okay, this is the Kush Triple Brow Pin. This is gonna be so bomb. I love the little Kush Brow Gel. It normally fills my brows in. But look at this, I I hope you guys can see what it looks like. It looks kind of like a brush. You can see the detail in that. So good, and this is in the shade Dub. So I'm very excited to try this brow um, brush out. I think that these are newer. I think that this is a new product that they're releasing. And they sent this to me in two other colors, I think just in case, so I've also got Dutch and herb those two are dark, darker than the dub one but i really love their brow um gel so i know that i'll really like the brow pencil or yeah the brow pencil this is another gloss this is in um a brighter shade this is in rosebud and then this one oh wait i think this is the lip balm i have yeah this is the lip balm i already have this is the kush lip balm it's like this it's green I use this every single day, and this is the green dragon one, and I also have a pink version of this. I wonder if they sent the pink version. Ooh, this is the brow gel, but it's clear. I have the colored one. I'm gonna love using the clear one, because if I use the pencil, then I can use a clear, and um, it'll just make them set all nice. Wow, thank you, Milk Makeup. I love that. I have one other package. I feel like this is, uh, Yep, I already knew what this was. I ordered another wrist brace. I ordered this one for my left hand because my left hand has been um, hurting just as much as my right nowadays. So now I'll have both. Um, I probably don't need to wear them at the same time, but just if one is hurting more than the other, um, I got this one so it can go on my left hand. Also, I linked these in my last vlog, but I'll link them down below again if you guys want to get a wrist brace um, along with my laptop stand. If any of you guys have weak wrist or carpal tunnel, this is what I've been using, so I ordered another one. That's all for my little haul. I hope you guys liked a little unboxing in this video. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm probably gonna 
I don't know what I'm gonna make for lunch, but I'm getting really hungry for something. Well, I thought my packages were over and I just got a delivery um, at the door. I'll show you guys what it is. Look how sweet. I got an edible arrangement and I got this balloon and it says, congrats, grad, you did it. And this is from the bronze. So this is from Nat and her mom and dad and their family. So I'm gonna FaceTime her and tell her thank you. about this so thank you guys so much yeah. well that was just the sweetest okay I just preheated the oven and I'm gonna try these little brazi bites that Louisa always talks about they have these in a bunch of different flavors they're at Whole Foods and they're just cheese bread and she said once they're ready I like can cut them in half and put like butter in them there is like so much smoke because we have an instant going, but it's like coming directly into frame. Anyway, I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'm gonna bake a few of them. This isn't gonna be my lunch, but like I just need a little snack. So I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna unwrap this, put it in the fridge somehow, try and fit it in there. But this is gonna be so delicious. Like I am so happy about this. All right, now that it's like 1230, I'm gonna start getting stuff actually done around here. I'm going to make the bed. I'm gonna clean. Well, that was so loud. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna vacuum, I'm going to scrub down the things that I normally just like don't like to clean because they're gross. So I'm gonna scrub the toilet, I'm gonna scrub the bathtub, have to do it. Um, it's just one of those things, you know. So today I'm gonna do some deep cleaning and then I'm gonna plan out what I wanna do for a podcast episode. I really want to probably record later tonight. So I'm gonna write down all the topics I wanna discuss, ask you guys on my Instagram. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast. It's always linked in the description and you guys can follow the podcast Instagram because I talk to you guys a lot on there, ask you guys feedback and stuff. But I'm gonna go on there and ask you guys what it is that you guys want to see and yeah So I'm just gonna get to cleaning right now. So here comes a beautiful cleaning montage As you guys just saw, I just cleaned um, the, oh, sorry, the angle. I just cleaned the bathroom. So I'm about to do the countertops right now, but I just did the toilet and then I started on the sinks. So I'm taking a break to try these brazy bites. I don't know how to say them like Louisa and her Brazilian accent, but um, she told me to break them in half. They smell so good. And then she said to take butter. So I've got some butter here and she just said to put it on the bites and they're super yummy. There's a few different flavors you can get of this, but this one I just thought would be best to try out first. Ooh, guys, it's melted up in there. Wow. This looks delicious. Okay. Guys. These are fire. These are probably the most unhealthy snack I could have. But they're so fire. I feel like it would be really good to have these. Like we had that um, spicy fusilli last night. And I feel like these are like, you know, at a restaurant, like an Italian restaurant or something, you get like bread before. I feel like these would be good to have before we eat the pasta or like as a side with pasta that's how i feel like these are i just put the butter in there like it's a boat <laughs> okay guys look at my sink i know it doesn't look dirty but you could just see like where other stuff has like built up like it's not that bad but cleaning my sink is my favorite thing this is a before 
look at it after literally no build up just cleaned it off i always get questions what do i use this is what i use to clean my cabinets or like not my cabinets whoa it's what i use to clean like my bathroom stuff because it's bathroom cleaner and it dissolves soap and just like a lot of like face wash and products that builds up in here and now i'm gonna do the counters they're not too bad but like there's just little things all over so i'm gonna take everything off the counter and scrub it down now that i've cleaned everything and i feel good about it i feel like i scrubbed all the necessities down i am going to try this little vanilla cold brew almond latte i bought this at whole foods it's the brand poppin bottle i posted this on my instagram story and i was like I, I will try these out and keep you guys updated and then i got a bunch of replies saying that you guys love these so just so you guys know it is clean energy from organic coffee dairy free no lactose no cholesterol natural sweetness from dates there's no gums no thickeners no preservatives and um, i think it's also soy free i'm pretty sure this is soy free it might not be maybe i made that up i also bought a matcha one just because i wanted to try these because if i like these i feel like they're good to have just like a nice little like cold brew in the middle of the day it's about one o'clock right now and i have a lot more i want to get done so i want it'll pick me up for that oh this is yummy this is hmm this is actually pretty good it doesn't <coughs> oh bless you this is actually pretty good it doesn't say that it's chai but for some reason i taste like a little bit of chai in this it just says vanilla cold brew almond latte but i'm tasting a little cinnamon or something i don't know but it's really good well as you guys know i have been holding off on depopping clothes for so long because i genuinely have probably over a hundred probably over 150 items i probably need to sell and that is going to take i kid you not probably like five days to list everything package everything mail it out to people and so i just can't deal with my closet being cluttered anymore and everything being cluttered so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and clear out some of this underneath my couch where is where i it's with whoa english this is where i store um so much other clothes that i just haven't had the time to get rid of i think i'm going to sell all of these under my couch today so that when i go through my closet go through my drawers all of that i have somewhere to store them because right now i don't want to clean out my closet or drawers or shoes or any of that because if i take it all out of my closet there's nowhere to store it. it's just going to be in a huge pile another problem i'm facing with depopping is i don't have a printer so normally i use my apartment complex's printer they have one downstairs and i'll just mass print all of them unfortunately all of the amenities in my apartment are closed our pool our gym our rooftop um our printer our conference rooms everything's closed so we don't have that so i thought of a solution um and i saw that there was a laser printer on amazon so basically you just buy the stick on labels and you put it through it doesn't like require ink or anything all right i gave up on trying to sort out the clothes because i realized why am i going to try and sort them out and take all these photos of them why is my hair so crazy um why am i going to take all these photos and sort out all the clothes if i don't have the printer yet like that just wasn't making sense so i went on amazon i ordered the laser printer and i ordered the labels to go with it and they will be here next week um and then i had to take some instagram content so as you guys can see i my skin has been looking so fire i cannot wait to give you guys my updated skincare routine like literally i kid you not all i have right now is mascara i used that clear brow gel um from milk makeup i put lip liner on and then i put concealer and uh like cream blush on i literally don't have foundation on whatsoever i know that sounds crazy but i've never been able to do that with my makeup and it looked like this like this is actually insane can't wait to give you guys an updated skincare i had to take some content so i threw on some like cream blush a little bit of concealer mascara brow tint and some gloss and now i am laying in bed i'm about to do some editing 
and I have a lot of videos that I want to plan out and film for you guys and so what I'm going to do is write down and list out every single video I want to film and then like which day I want to film it, what content I need to get done, what brand deals I need to implement, and which videos, all that kind of stuff. Today is just kind of like sorting it all out for me and then in the next few days I'll start filming it, editing it, and all of that. So that's what I'm doing right now and while I'm doing that I'm playing Vanderpump Rules interviews. I love hearing like about what the cast is doing after the show airs because like their friendships and all of that like changed since the airing so i'm just playing like a bunch of e entertainment tonight um videos just so i can like listen to them so i'm gonna do that while i write down some video ideas guys i can't get over this freaking tray like it's literally my favorite thing look at it just sitting on my bed like i can just type here and work perfectly from bed i always want to work in bed but I hate leaning it on my legs and this is just so good. I've got my iPad here. I'm gonna go through emails. I'm gonna continue watching <laughs> Vanderpump interviews. I have also got Bible study in 30 minutes. So yeah, we get on Zoom on Thursdays and today is the last week of Bible study because we finished the book. So today's my last day, but I've got that in 30 minutes. So that's why I'm gonna try and get a little bit more work done before I have that Zoom call. He talks about, Jesus talks about like, if the branch, does bear fruit then mm -hmm. it, it will so it can bear more fruit but if it does not bear he fruit, cuts it cut off right. so there's so the analogy really is like just times in our lives where we think that like god is not close to us or that we that we don't you know why is he removing this from our life or why is he changing this situation or why is he doing that but and it's a place where you feel like, oh, I was doing really well, or that was, you know, that was bearing fruit. Like it was getting good results in that area. Why is that taken away from me? And so it's a way to look at it to say it, it might not be that it's dead and it's never coming back. It may be that it's doing well and that he wants to prune you in an area to help you grow in a different direction or to help you even grow um, more. Yeah, maybe they're bearing no fruit for me. I was like, they I texted mom and I was like, mom, like, am I being pruned or not? And she's like, I think you're being pruned. And I'm like, <laughs> well, I said, well, I would like to bear some fruit is what I would like. <laughs> No, she's a rule follower. She'll be wearing, she probably has a timer of how long she has to wear them. No, I, to, I told her that she needs to wear them all the time when she's on the computer. And she's like, okay. <laughs> I like whenever she had a sunburn one time in the back of the aloe vera, so <laughs> like apply every four to six hours. And she set a timer like at four hours and she would like run and no matter where she has to reapply her. I would literally apply it exactly <laughs> at that time. And it was for like, Three days, every four hours. A long time. And it was like, on and on. Okay, like, okay, you don't have to I, reapply. You know what's crazy <laughs> is, y'all, I'm a really big rule follower. Okay. Like, if I read the packaging on something, like, I will do it to a T, okay? But Brandon, <laughs> like, I, this morning, we get in arguments because he is beyond rule following. Like, y'all know how much I follow rules. I was using Q-tips, okay? And I used, like, four Q-tips. Like, I did, like, two in each year. And he was like, why are you using that many Q-tips? And I was like, because I have a lot of earwax, like, in my ear. And he was like, but the packaging says you're only supposed to do one in each year or it could damage your eardrum. And I'm like, it's a Q-tip, and if I put it in one time, then, like, it's not going to get anything out. And, like, everything I do, like, he's like, I mean, it doesn't say it goes on that surface. And I'm like, if I'm cleaning something, I'm like, but it's the same thing. It's Windex. <laughs> like, it's just Windex. It's literally dead. Y'all together. Y'all together is not good. Your it's children, bad. Like, you know, Robin, are just going to hate their life. Like, Advil, who <laughs> literally... You're going to have to place everything in, like, the most perfect position. No, I know. Like, Advil, like, literally, if I give him two, like, he'll be like, I mean, it hasn't been this many hours. And I'm like, it's Advil. You could take three more. <laughs> like, it's funny. Oh, no. I just finished Bible study, and it was really good. We had a nice little time. Talk. We always just end up talking about random things, but um, oh, excuse me. I am getting hungry. Brandon's not that hungry, but I'm just gonna eat without him because, like, I don't really care. So I'm gonna make some taquitos. I really don't feel like cooking a full dinner tonight. I am filming tomorrow. I'm filming a what I eat in a day. 
It's going to be my kale salad recipe. I'm gonna make the matcha pancakes and I'm gonna do just like chicken, rice, and veggies for dinner and stuff. So I've got a really good white in a day coming up for you guys. But tonight I don't feel like cooking, so taquitos it is. I picked up these from Whole Foods. They're literally just chicken taquitos. All you do is put them in the oven at 350. Cook them for a little bit. I've got some beans and sour cream, so I'm gonna do black bean sour cream on the side, and that's gonna just, you know, be my quick dinner. I just put these little taquitos in the oven. And look at this. Look at this beautiful little dinner. I'm gonna take my delicious sour cream. I love sour cream with like literally everything. So I'm putting it on top of the beans. Does anyone else do that? Let me know. I washed my face, I ate my taquitos. Oh, the TV is going. We just started Love is Blind. Brandon wanted to put it on. Unfortunately, I watched the last two episodes or like the last, second to last episode or something like that with Nat when I was over visiting her and she was watching it. So I know who everyone ends up with, which is kind of annoying, but we're watching Love is Blind. Brandon's never seen it. I'm excited to watch it fully through because I've never like seen any of their other interactions. All right, Brandon made me a shirt. Can you I just design me another one? I you didn't really know how thing. it worked. I did a good thing. I don't regret the thing I've done. Ooh. Yeah, let's make a new one. I made this little dress. All right, you want to see what I did? You want to see what I did? All right, do just it. put change design. Oh, you I can tried to make them. a little yellow dress. Look how. But babe, look at my little yellow thing. dress. It's like a little yellow strap. <laughs> okay, you're too close. Little yellow <laughs> strap with a little design on the little skirt. Yeah, I see. It's a but dress. you have to understand the whole box is the whole shirt. You don't just draw the so item. So it's just a graphic on there. tee, or just a graphic tee. Okay, so I'm not so designing put... what she's wearing. No. Oh. <laughs> guys well i just realized i never put an outro on the end of this vlog but i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog it was one of the very last days that i have just like as a college student this is going to be my last college student vlog the next vlog that you guys see from me is going to be my graduation day so i will be vlogging the day that i graduate online virtually so don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see my graduation day and all of that news but Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, all of my stuff will be linked down below. So if you guys want to listen to any of my podcasts, they are down below. And I also have my Instagram and Twitter linked down below. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.